Welcome down to the best bits of Swanning Around, where during the year we've had access to all the players, all the officials and all areas. And one of the great things about getting access to all areas is that we've been able to sneak into some of the hallowed parts of the Sydney Swans Football Club. One of those is the locker room. And earlier in the season we sent Adam Goods down to find out what goes on in the locker rooms with the boys. Ball favours Keating in the ruck, but he hits it straight down to Gambali. But now it comes back to Steve Merkel, over the top to Garner. He just draws players. Oh, the kick's beautifully smothered there by Hudson. Oh, he just can't quite get a handle on it. Now Vlatko comes steaming in. Garner keeps it in play. Over to Richie. Back to Vlatko. Slams it on his left foot and finds Ben Rogers for the Eagles. 60 metres out from goal. He's got Seabeck on a long lead. He goes in that direction. Seabeck versus Bradfield. Oh, he's just too strong. The big fella takes another great mark. You know, whether the boys touch him up or not, um, there's a guy from Fremantle, Anthony Jones, who's yeah. come back from all sorts of injuries. I mean... You know, where, where do you draw the line, I guess, is, is it? It's the only way to throw him off the scent. If you've got a dodgy knee, whack a real big bastard bandage <laughs> on your shoulder. Get him to go for the <laughs> shoulder and leave the knee behind. The other thing this week that came out was the, the big injuries report from the AFL. Mm. Um, mm. Interesting. Interesting that hamstring injuries were still on the up, but ACL, you know, anterior cruciate yep. ligament yep. injuries on the way down, and groin and hip injuries on the way down. Um, you know, a bit of a trend in the AFL. They're trying, you know, obviously they're looking at these reports. This is the ninth year in a row they've done the report. So they're able to now, you know, look at them and, and figure out ways of improving. But hamstrings are still the bane of, uh, you know, a club's existence. So Goody breaks out of the centre. Can he find Oliver? <laughs> so Oliver plays on, kicks down forward looking for Ryder. Langham, Seabeck! They're lining up here. It's on now for the East Coast Eagles. Well, well, I think the tide has officially turned, Billy. It has. I'm not quite sure why. Well, now that's better from Gus Seebeck. I was going to say, into the breeze, that was a little bit beyond Gus. But he just palmed it off well to Charleston, who's going to have a shot from about 30 metres out on a slight angle and uh, in a good spot for the way the breeze is blowing. Now in towards Folkard. He gets a good run at it. Good punch there by Charleston. Comes back to McNamara. McNamara can clear to Merkel. Kicks up high one. Has to sit under the ball. Right charged upon him. And the umpire said a little bit too late. Merkel will take a free kick. That was better played by Charleston back there. He's traditionally been a fullback in his career. Maybe that's a better spot for him. They could switch Frost to Charleston over on Barrett. Kicks inside looking for Barrett. Goodrum just with a bit more pace. Just got an arm in there. Handball was a quick one. Back towards Vlatko. Now Whale just holds his own. Gets it back to Keir. That was good play by the Eagles. Keir heads the Eagles back inside 50. But Smythe falls over and Clark takes a well-judged mark. He's a great player for Pennant Hills. And he rebounds. Pennant Hills on the run now. Looks like Keane. He goes inside 50 at the other end. Hand in there by the Eagles. Keating's done a lot of roving today. Back to McNamara. Back to Hubble. This would be a very important goal if they could get it. It would put the margin out to 27 points if they could muster something up from here. Smythe charges down upon it. Ball's on the ground. Danger still here for Pennant Hills. Run onto by Charleston. Smothered. Shot by Chapman. He's kicked it on his left and through for a goal. Great goal to the Eagles. That's his second. It's the Sydney AFL Grand Final 2005. Umpire just checking with both captains and we'll be well underway very shortly. Good open forward line for the Bombers. There's plenty of room for their forwards to lead into. Let's see how they use it. So down it goes, start of the grand final. Free kick straight away, centre square infringement. Free kick will go to the Bombers, it'll go to Zeno. Crosby will be looking to run past quickly and does so. He bombs the Bombers straight inside 50. Huge leap it is. That's a great mark. Looks like Kieran Hughes. They've got some high flies in their forward line, including Todd Badgick. This is a bit far out for Hughes. He chips it over to Crosby, who's run on well. And the former Fielder medalist from 1999 takes a mark just inside 50. Again, we'll test him. Short pass in towards Tom Hill. He's got three players onto him from Western Suburbs. They clear it out well, heading towards the boundary line. Jason McPherson, it stays in, back to Hill. High tackle, no, says the umpire. Stacks on the mill. Umpire will come in and ball up. So this is it. Final quarter for the Sydney AFL 2005 season. North Shore with the ascendancy after kicking 3-1 to 2-3 that quarter. They lead by 16 points. Mark Lord, clever tap over the back of his head. Over towards Williams. Carbone charges onto it. Good play by McPherson's come right into the game since quarter time. 
over the top towards Denev. He'll be hoping for the boundary line. Crosby dives upon him. Carbone keeps it in cleverly. Back to Tyrrell. The Bombers are away. Now to Livy. Livy loads up. Kicks at 60 metres inside. Looking for Bereza. Well, if there's one thing Western Suburbs didn't lead in the first 60 seconds of this game is what we're seeing now. Been caught behind ever since North Shore pulled, the front, pulled in front in that second quarter. And you've got to start to ask the questions. Have they got it to come from behind? They've been well held all day. So Andrew Bereza. He's played down backer on the wing most of this season. Was thrown down forward last week and kicked two goals. Has a shot on goal. Start of the final quarter here. He's kicked it. He pumps the fists. And North Shore are in front by 22 points.